there's a lot of things which you cannot explain about conducting. How do you prepare yourself, prepare the orchestra, to make the most beautiful concert you can imagine? There's technique, but there's so much more. It has to do with communication, with being in contact with your own musical ideas and being able to convince musicians that what you think is a wonderful way of making music. classic story, the conductor got ill and they asked who could take over the rehearsal. So I said, well, let me have a go at it. And that was fantastic. Then of course years of studying followed that moment. I'm a very convinced non-specialist. There is so much music from all the different eras for me still to be discovered. After having the opera theater experience in Switzerland, I never want to let go of opera anymore. There's so much gold to find in all those wonderful scores. Especially because I have two young boys, I find it challenging to make the community participate in music. Kids in school get an instrument and from day one they play in an ensemble, even if they can only just play one note. I don't know if the music that I'm doing is going to be played again. Maybe it's going to be just one premiere. Maybe it will be an everlasting piece for the next 500 years. But as a conductor and as a musician, you're obliged to play new music. We're the advocates for composers. There's no limit in music that actually touches my heart because I have discovered that when I get to know a piece better, when I get to know a composer better, it always has an effect on my thinking about music and thinking about life in general. Actually.